Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and welcome back to another Cardano video. If you're new, the first thing you need to do is hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update as what I do here is 100% Cardano content. So this video is going to take you through the new feature that was just released last night and that is Ledger support within the Daedalus wallet. This is a feature that I have been waiting for for a while and I am really excited to now have it because this really does increase the security. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my Daedalus wallet on the screen here and I'm going to take you through connecting up the Ledger hardware wallet and then show you that it is basically the same. Once you have it connected, it's just like any other wallet within Daedalus. You can send, receive, stake very easy from the wallet so i will pop up another screen or another camera as well that will show you the ledger to show you what's going on on that while i am interacting with daedalus on screen so you get all views at once so as you can see here i'm bringing up my daedalus wallet i have downloaded the latest wallet here so when you come in you can see here i already have my ledger nano x connected up that was my test on it and now i'm going to use another ledger wallet that i use for these types of videos so when you come in here and you go down the bottom to add wallet you now see this new feature called pair so what you need to do is click on pair and then it is going to look for any hardware wallets that are connected to the laptop so as you can see now i'm bringing up my other camera that has the ledger on it so i need to go into the cardano app on the wallet so as you can see deadless has now found it and it's asking to export the public key which i am doing here and confirm and then that's it done on the ledger side so now what it's going to do is it's going to sync with the blockchain you can see here it's already picking it up as the ledger nano s you can rename that as well under more and settings you can come in here and give it any name you want so if you have multiple wallets it's very easy to do now i'm going to pause the video here because when i done this with the ledger nano x it did take a few minutes for the blockchain to sync so i'm going to pause the video and come back once we are fully synced and i'll let you know how long that actually took okay so now we are 10 15 minutes later and you can see that my ledger nano s has now synced up to the daedalus wallet so i can see my history i can send receive everything like that from the wallet it acts just like any other wallet that is created within daedalus the only difference is when you go to send a transaction you need to confirm that on your hardware device rather than a standard wallet created in daedalus you use your password when you are trying to send funds with the hardware wallet you just confirm it on the device so as you see here, send, I could send funds here, put in the receiver, the amount, and it works the same as any other wallet. If you want to receive funds to your wallet, you come into the receive tab and then you copy one of the wallets. You can see show used, which will show you the wallets that you have used as well as unused. If you want to use a new address, you just untick that and then copy the top address then. So you have your transactions there as well. So when you have your funds in there, if you want to delegate, you come into the delegation center here and you can see the current epoch details and when the next epoch is going to start there. You come down then and you will see all of the wallets down the bottom here. You can see my Ledger Nano S here. Now, when I hover over it, I have a re-delegate button because I have already delegated this stake to my own pool, Paul, and anyone looking for a stake pool, I do appreciate any delegation to my pool. It really does help support my channel and we are producing blocks already, so people are getting their rewards. So for you, you would have a delegate button. You click on it. It's the exact same process if you need to re-delegate funds or delegate, click continue. Then the wallet that you want to delegate, click continue. And then in here you have to choose your pool. So you would, if you know the name of the pool you want to delegate to, you can search here. Now Daedalus does have a section for showing more details on pools. I'll show you that in a second. But I personally use Ada Pools and Pool Tool for when I want to look for pool details. I think that they are a better way of looking through all of the details. I know Daedalus are expanding all the time and bringing in new features for searching on pools. But right now, I still prefer them to websites, which I will link down below. 
So what you do is you put in whatever pool you want to look for. I'm going to pick one at random here. You can see the top ones are very close to saturation. So I wouldn't be picking any of the top ones. Again, if you're not familiar with saturation level, I've done a video on that a few days ago, which I will link down below. Basically, you need to be in a pool that is under 64 million. And I would say well under 64 million, as if you were in around that limit, then the pool is always in danger of going saturated and that impacts the rewards that you get. So click on no, I'm gonna click on node as just to show you this example. So when you've selected your pool, you click continue. And then you can see the fee here. For you, if you're doing it for the first time, you will see an extra two ADA on the fee. That is basically a deposit for registering your stake key on the network. When you unregister your stake key, you will get that two ADA back. So the only fee is whatever comes after the two. So again, you can see on my device here, it's looking for me to start this transaction. So you would just start it, confirm the details on your device, and then that's you done. You would be delegated then to that pool. I'm not going to do it as I want to stay in my own pool. That's really it, guys. I actually, just for the stake pools, you can see them all within Daedalus here, and you can go down through them. They do have, you can click here to get a bit more information on the pools, and you can scroll down through them then. But as I say, the other two websites, I feel are a bit easier to navigate right now and they have more filters that you can search for the specific type of pool that you're looking for. As I say, I do have my own pool, which you can delegate to. It does really help support the channel. But if it's not going to be my pool, I do urge you to consider delegating to some of the other small pools as well, as there are a lot of them doing really great work out there. So thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate anyone that likes, subscribes. And give the video a share if you feel that it can help someone else who is looking to figure out how the ledger or the hardware support works within Daedalus. Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you very soon.